Okay, in this video I'm going to go through how I'm using the special keys on my mouse here to do uh, editing within Adobe uh, Premiere. So I have my Z key here, which is add edit. I have my X key here, which is ripple delete. C here, which is the razor tool. V is the select tool. And then alt is the um, alt key right here. So uh, let me just show you how I use these. And let's, right here, I got two tracks. It's actually the same track that's on top of each other. And let's just go to the beginning here. And what I'm doing in this is I'm going to show you how I use the add edit. So what the add edit does, which will be the Z key here, is it creates a cut on all the tracks where the playhead is, as long as these tracks are selected over here. So right now, let's say, for instance, I wanted to create a cut right here. All I have to do is now we hit the Z key and it creates a cut like around there. And let's say I want to cut again to cut out this piece right here. Where my hand comes in, I can go hit and hit Z key here and uh, I've created my cut there. Now, the other thing I can do is just select this right now here and hit the X and that triple delete. So it quickly makes, makes all my editing, my quick cutting and ripple deleting just with these two keys without having to do any shortcut keys on the keyboard. Now the other um, keys that I use quite a bit is cut. So sometimes I don't want to make a cut through all the tracks. So then I use my C key here, which is the razor tool, and I just make a cut there. And let's say I make a cut here. And I want to make, you know, the individual cuts along here. So, you know, basically you could do the same thing, but it lets you create a little bit more selection. And then I go back to the go back to the V tool and it lets me select the different clips I can go like that. I can select it like that I can shift and do both. And then again, I can hit the X right here and do ripple delete. So that's the C and the V and the Z and the X. The only other one I have here that I use a lot is the alt key. So obviously I use my scroll right here to scroll up and down the timeline, but um, to be able to make it a little bit more functional, let's say I wanted to zoom right here on this track right here. So I hit the alt and it allows me to zoom right in. Sometimes you're looking to be able to see your waveforms. And the other thing you can do is uh, be over here and hit the alt key and it lets you stretch your uh, track height. So this way I can really go in right now and I can see my waveform. So if I'm looking for a particular waveform, um, I, ha I don't have the audio on right now, but if I was listening for a particular waveform while I was scrubbing right here, I could play this. Um. And so that I'm trying to, let's say I was trying to cut out that um, I can, uh, I could see it a lot better here now. So then I could go ahead and use my Z key, cut both of those out, go to the other side of this um, hit the Z key again, and then again, I can just select all those and hit my X and I've cut that um out. And there we go. Just like that, I cut out and, and um. But that's just real quickly how I use the Z, X, C, V, and Alt all on my mouse, mouse uh, my special mouse right here. Of course, this is still my, um, my right mouse key and this is still my left mouse key right here. So those are unchanged. Um, that go across all the different platforms.